This is an Eris Wi-Fi router. It is uh, 1750 megabits per second. It's AC 1750. The model is SBR AC 1750. And what we're gonna do in this video, as usual, is we're gonna plug it all in, get on the computer and set it up to get online. Now, I do have a disclaimer because I can't get this router online at my house because, well, I can, but usually, if you've seen it in my other videos like this, we use MAC address spoofing or MAC address, MAC address cloning to do kind of a little trick to trick my ISP to think that we're still using my old router. So, if you can't do that, the, the way to get around that is to call up your ISP and say, hey, I got a new router, and they'll fix it for you. But, this router does not support MAC address spoofing or MAC address cloning. So, the only way I can get this router online at my house would be to call my ISP and tell them I got a new router, but I don't want to do that because I still use my other router. I don't use this. So, we're not really going to be able to get this router online, but just understand that. that there's, there's a reason why I'm not doing it, but it's, it's not like no one can do it. It's just there's not a hack. And there's not like a way around it. So, I mean, it will still work pretty much as good as any other router you just can't you just can't use mac address cloning or mac address spoofing it's the only i don't know it's not even really a downside it's just a workaround that doesn't exist on this router so let's just get started and i always as usual start by plugging in the modem here's my modem cable my cat5 cable the other end goes to my modem it's in the other room this end is going to go in the one port that's different. You see all those ports right there. Then you see one that's different. It's blue and it's labeled WAN. So that's where the modem goes. The one that's different. Plug it in there. And now I have this blue cable that came with the router. And I always use my own personal tradition or my own personal preference. I always use port 1. It doesn't matter which one you use, but I just use port 1, because that's what I do. That's my thing, I guess. It's in there nice and snug. You take the other end of that one, and that goes in the computer. Now what we need to do is plug in the power. So we'll bring, bring the power cable around. And plug that down there, like that. And now that we've got power, I always recommend that you reset the, the router to default settings. So to do that, there's this little reset button. If you bought this brand new and like brand new out of the box and have never used it and it's just, just like legit brand new, you don't need to do this. But if you bought this like on eBay or took got it from your friend or whatever, I always recommend resetting the settings so you're not trying to work around settings that you don't know about and it's just it just creates a headache. So I always do this. You hold it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Usually that'll reset all the settings in the router to, like I said, if it's a brand new router, you don't have to do that. But if you bought this on eBay or got it from a friend or whatever, it's always nice to know that you're starting with fresh settings. So we got it all plugged in. Um, normally this is where I would tell you to look at the sticker and get the MAC address off your other router, but we can't do MAC address spoofing, so we're not going to worry about that. So, we have it all plugged in. So the next step is to go teleport into the computer. So now that we're in the computer, you want to open up a browser. You can use whatever browser you want. Chrome, Internet Explorer, or Edge. 
any browser you want. I'm using Edge. And when you go here, you want to go up to the bar up here, and you want to go to HTTP colon slash slash 192.168.0.1. You go to that page, and it's going to ask you to log in. The default username is admin. You can't really do anything about it. And the default password is going to be password, all lowercase, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. Log in. So we're going to launch the quick start wizard. Next. So our, our, our SID or SSID, I know some people don't like it when you say SID, but if you watch my videos, you're going to hear me say SID. That's how I refer to it. So it's, that's the name of your network. And then the key that you're going to use to log into your network. So I'm going to use um, Wi-Fi password one three, just because I don't feel like writing that other one down or memorizing it or anything. So we're going to use Wi-Fi password one two three, and next. All right, so now it's giving you two networks. Just whatever you named it is going to be the 2.4 gigahertz network. And then your 5 gigahertz network is going to be whatever you named it, dash 5G. So they kind of put that at the end so you know that that one's the 5 gigahertz network. Next, security configuration. Next, review settings. Apply. Settings applied. Exit. So that's pretty much all you really need to do that is you should be able to get on, online from here but like i said i can't do the next spoof, spoof thing, so probably, um, it's not going to work for me and you may be at the same point so how do you do this you want to call up your internet service provider and tell them that you had a new router tell them that you're setting up a new router basically they have to go into their system and reset the MAC address settings and all that. Basically, get rid of your old router settings and put the new. And then they'll either they'll either ask you something about your router and put that information in, or they'll just get rid of all those settings and, and say, "Okay, try again." And then basically, you'll just uh, it'll basically just start working while you're on the phone, probably. And so normally, I would tell you to do MAC address cloning or MAC address spoofing to to get around having to call them, but this router doesn't support uh, spoof, uh, spoofing or cloning. So just, there's nothing I can, there's nothing to do. You have to call the ISP to fix it. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, it's annoying to me because uh, that's almost every other router has that feature, but this router doesn't. So let's just walk through the settings to see what's on here. If we go to home, we have this page. You go to basic, you have basic wireless settings. This is where you can change the name of your wireless networks. So if, uh, I always recommend, if you're gonna name them the same thing, you can name them the same thing, but like this one has the dash 5G. I always recommend having some, like a, the number five or something like this, dash 5G at the end. Cause if you, if your mobile device supports both, you're gonna look at the list and both of them are gonna come up right next to each other and it's going to, you're not gonna be able to tell which one's which. So um, you can either put, you could put 2.4G on this one and 5G on this one, or just like this does, don't put any, just name this whatever you want and then name this the same thing and put 5G or, so, or something so you can tell them apart. You can name them something completely different if you want. Just make sure you can tell them apart and then you set the password for each one you can show the password. Uh, it's what I set earlier. Um, let's see. I'm not trying to make a like a complete walkthrough of the whole all the settings. This is just to show you like what the the interface is like. You can go to WAN settings, dynamic, static, and all all these other WAN settings. 
um, on your LAN. You got all kinds of settings to change on your LAN here. All kinds of settings, but there's no MAC address spoofing, which would be in here somewhere, but it's not because it doesn't exist. I looked it up before I made the video. But uh, all kinds of settings in here you can change. Your basic wireless setup settings. A lot of this stuff you don't need to change unless you know what you're doing, which I plan on making videos about what all this stuff means. Um, port forwarding, that's another common one for gaming and servers. That's where you would do it. I right hear firewall port forwarding, that's where you port forwarding stuff. Um, system settings. This is where you change your administrator login. Um, you can change your password. You gotta type in the current password and the new one twice, but you're stuck with the admin name. Your name has to be admin. There's no way to get around that. So that's how you change your name and password. Um, you can restore your settings to default right here. I, I showed you how to do it with the button in the first part of the video, but you can also do it right here by going to factory default and going to restore default that that's the same as starting everything clear just like you the router's brand new so here's an overview of i guess just how to use the router out page so a lot of the stuff we went through um unfortunately i can't like i, I could just call my isp like i was saying and tell them i got a new router but i didn't get i'm just making the video i'm not actually using this router so I'm not going to go through the hassle of calling my ISP and changing it and then changing it back. And then it's just, I'm not going to go through that. But at this point, you should be able to get on the internet. If not, leave me a comment and we'll try to figure it out. I'll try to help you out if you've got this router. I uh, appreciate you watching. I hope you learned something and have a great day. Peace.